glad you can come. I'm Melissa Ramos and this is my crib, my RV and also known as the Rambler, my tiny home on wheels. Come on in. Oh, actually, wait, before I actually take you inside this, I want to let you know that this is a brand new 2020 Apex Coachman. And frankly, I hated the way that it looked before. You may disagree with me, but I think that these RVs look quite hideous in terms of the coloring and the walls and the cabinetry. I just don't think it's very attractive. So I decided that I wanted to remodel this. And when I say remodel, decided to paint it. And I began painting it and it was not a straightforward job. I went to pull up my hair, my husband stepped in and we were running out of time. So I decided to hire a painter who fixed all of our mistakes. So what you're gonna see is a white uh, and actually blue as well, RV. This is a really, really pretty redesign that I think that we did. And the other thing that has been upgraded are the handles on all the cabinetry. So they were these black plastic handles, um, which I thought were pretty ugly. So I ended up switching them out and got these brassy gold handles. So, okay, now you can come check it out and see what I'm talking about. Okay, so before I take you through this RV, open concept, gorgeous RV that I love so much that I share not only with my two dogs, Bodhi and Pickles, but also my husband, who's behind the camera. <laughs> I wanna take you through sections of what makes this RV so special and why I actually like it even more than my apartment that I recently moved out of. Sound crazy? Well, let me show you why. Yes, it is, and this is where myself, the dogs, and Eric, we hang out a lot. Eric will sometimes be playing the guitar, I'll be reading a book. The other really cool thing about this sofa is that it's a jackknife, meaning it flattens out. So we can all literally just hang out, lay out, and it's also where the dogs tend to sleep. Now, if you notice, I have this couch cover here, and the great thing about that is, is that it can just protect the couch because we have dogs, and as you can see, Pickles is a puppy, so he can get a little rambunctious, so this really, really helps. This is my dinette, and I absolutely love this spot for a variety of reasons. And number one, because this is where Eric and I enjoy our home-cooked meals. And actually, if you want to learn a little bit more about how we are eating healthy while on the road, comment below and let me know, because I think a lot of people complain about how it's impossible to eat on the road. We definitely don't believe that's the case. The other reason why I love this dinette is because the other RV that we were going to purchase didn't have a jackknife sofa. So we only had a dinette in the other one that we were looking at. By having both, it allows us for more individual space. One person can be playing the guitar on the, the jackknife sofa. I can be here writing or working. And truthfully, this is where I create as well. So my videos, my YouTube videos, etc. I just love this spot. Now, full transparency, RV lighting is awful. So one thing that's really high on my list is to get some mood lighting, and this is one of my new additions. It's my Tiffany lamp, total replica, but I adore it. And this is my kitchen. I believe that this is where all the magic happens. Although I'm pretty sure that my husband would disagree with me and tell you that it happens in the bedroom. But we'll take a look at the bedroom in a second. All right, so this kitchen is pretty fantastic. It is much bigger than a lot of city apartments, so it's fairly big, although the downside is we do still kind of trip over each other every now and then, but I am the one who does the majority of the cooking here. I will allow you to show you my Berkey filter. Extremely important, whether you're living in a camper or in an apartment, gotta filter your water. Campground water is atrocious. Now we have a Campco filter, which is like meh in terms of filtration, but of course, then we also have the Berkey filter with the fluoride filters. Here's the one thing, when we clean those filters, they are nowhere near as disgusting as our old apartment. So it just goes to show that sometimes the water coming out of your taps can be pretty gnarly. So another reason why this camper is awesome and why it was really important for us to get out of our city apartment because sometimes your environment can be making you sick. Another thing I wanna show you is this space here. This is where our microwave used to be, but we don't use a microwave. So what Eric thought was, why don't we remove it? Because we'll have more storage space. 
And I think it's really cool. He built this beautiful little interior here, and this is where I have my protein powders, my peak matcha, which is freaking awesome. I have this every single morning. And on top of it all, I have my essential oils because this girl cannot live without her oils. I absolutely adore them. Last but not least, I want to show you this. Yeah, that hood fan might not seem like a big deal to you, but remember how I was telling you how I love this RV even more than my old camper or my old apartment, I should say? The reason why is because in my old rent-controlled apartment, I didn't have a hood fan, so... my fridge. Well, not because I want to show you what's inside of it. That's going to be for another video about how I eat on the road, but more so because for an RV, this is a decent sized fridge. It's not as big as the one you see in a lot of homes, but it's certainly a lot bigger than what a lot of RVs have, which are these little tiny fridges that usually you see in a college kid's dorm. Um, but I love that I can put up my images here, all about manifesting side notes. So we have our design plans for a home that we are building on a piece of property that we purchased out in BC, lakefront mountain property, it's amazing. So we have our approved designs on our fridge and I also have this image over here which was from a random Google search that I did on lakefront mountain home. Ironically enough, in short, it actually was the home that our builder built. And this is a builder who is located in a town of 10,000 people. So talk about serendipity, that's proof. The other thing is we have our car schedule up here because we have one car, so we have to split it. And the other thing I wanna show you is this little dial. This dial is actually really important because it monitors the temperature in the RV. Not the temperature, but the humidity, I should say. Um, and that's actually kind of important because you don't want your camper to be humid because that's when mold can grow. And if you guys have seen any of my videos, you'll know that mold is disastrous for your thyroid. 20% of thyroids were infiltrated with black mold. It's also really awful for your estrogen levels, your gut health, etc. So you want it around that like 40 to 45%. It's also the reason why we have a dehumidifier. Last but not least, I got some kick ass storage. Now, you really want to be able to optimize every single little bit of room when you are on the road, and this certainly is packing. And this is the bathroom. I freaking love this little area, and the one thing that you might be wondering, at least I was wondering, was when someone takes a dump, is it going to stink the whole bathroom? I know you might be thinking that. Well, guess what? It doesn't because we've got this amazing fan it is tiny but it's mighty and the other reason why this fan is so great is because you need airflow in fact you may have noticed a fan when i was talking earlier in the living space was because we always want airflow in a camper because you got to prevent that mold it's a big deal because these campers are not built to be all year round so you really have to take care of these vehicles not to mention having airflow in a home is super important why because you need circulation because the air quality of people's home has been statistically been shown to be more toxic than the air outside. So airflow, airflow, airflow. Now I also love all this storage space. It is amazing, it goes super deep. We've got our toiletries in there, we've got our laundry. I'm not gonna show you because it really isn't anything totally important you gotta see. We've also got this green wall. I'm sure you're wondering what the heck. People either loved it or hated it in these RV renovation groups that I'm in on Facebook. I really like it. It is easy to clean. It's texturized. It's green. Why do you have a green wall? Because why the fuck not? All right. And then I also have this little vanity area. It is small. It is cute. It is enough. And yes, our shower area. And this is actually totally enough space. As you can see, it's pretty high up. In fact, my husband is six foot and he's not banging his head. We actually changed this um, shower um, head because the other one really sucked and it was like having to run around to get wet. So this is actually pretty amazing. Okay, so why am I showing you these buttons here? I'm showing you these buttons because a lot of people, including, I remember my family was like, what do you do when you go to the bathroom? Well, you have a gray tank, which is where 
all your water from when you shower or when you do dishes. It goes into one tank, it's called the gray tank. And so we have a monitor that shows, you probably can't even see it very well there, of the levels of our tanks. And then you have your black tank and that's where all the poop goes and all the pee goes. So you've got your black tank. But these sort of monitors are not extremely reliable. A lot of the times when I'm washing my hands in the sink or if I'm washing dishes, all that sudsy, soapy water I end up putting into my toilet because that degreasing power really does help the black tank. So that's a little bit of an insight because a lot of people do wonder about that. Okay, so I had to show you a little bit of the design here. I love this rug so much, guys. And I know that this little dish towel does not go with this entire kitchen, but sometimes you gotta go with what actually is practical. And the reason why I wanna bring this up is because these microfiber little towels and microfiber bath towels, even though you feel like you're drying yourself with like a cocktail napkin sometimes because they're so thin, they dry really easily. You cannot have regular towels in the shower because they're not gonna dry. So these things are amazing for dishes and also the larger ones for showering. But can we just take a look at this rug? I love it, is it only me? So most people use this for pans, right? For when you're using the oven, of which we don't use because it's not the greatest. You gotta get a pizza stone to make it cook evenly. So I haven't actually attempted to use my oven. However, I do use a storage space for my supplements. As you can see, I am a major type A kind of gal. They are all labeled here, easy to access. I freaking love it. It doesn't get hot because I don't use my oven, but this is a great storage space for my supplements. I love this spot so much because this is our entertainment system and the big thing that I loved about it is that check it out very cool right so now the TV is in the bedroom it swings around or it can be in the main living space and we have here our stereo system which truthfully is a piece of crap it crackles a little bit but we'll upgrade that at some point we have additional storage up here and below for games our hammer gun for sore muscles pretty awesome have to come into the bedroom. All right, guys, come on in. A Little bit of a squeeze in here. This is our bedroom. This is where Eric would tell you that the magic happens. All right, honey, you are gonna take that camera. All right, so I will tell you guys this. I am not a fan of having to pack all my clothes into these little spaces. I'm slightly mortified to show you how packed, jam-packed it is in here. I don't love it. This is probably one of the hardest parts about living in an RV. I have also a vertical closet there as well. Also pretty packed. My little side table has my books and my sound machine and all that stuff. Definitely not easy. Now you guys can probably see this little fan here on the side. It rotates. Remember when we told you about airflow? Airflow is extremely important. So this is actually something that is a God's blessing because when you're sleeping you're gonna have just a little bit of air it's like a 360 um, degree air fan um, boaters use it RVers use it the Sirocco I believe is what it's called it's got a timer on it as um, also uh, some speed settings but this is really a godsend but this is the hardest part I believe about living in an RV is where the heck am I gonna put all my clothes so I got some in storage but um, I'm making it happen. Okay, so here is one thing I had to show you guys. So see over here, it's kind of hanging off, but this is actually in between my mattress and the base part of my bed. What the heck is this? Well, this is called a hypervent airflow. Costs a little bit of a pretty penny. I think we spent about three or $400 to get this sheet, but I was adamant about this because as you can tell, I am completely paranoid about mold. I see way too many patients who struggle with mold issues. I know that I was struggling with mold issues, horrible sleep, depression, migraines when I woke up. And it's really important to have this hypervent airflow because if you don't have it in the cold months when it kind of gets a bit wet or even in the humidity in the summertime, you can destroy your mattress in an RV, even in a boat. And the wooden frame at the bottom, a lot of people will see complete mold when they lift it up. So this hypervent airflow, an absolute must. Oh. 
Okay, so this is the outdoor area, which I love. We have this adorable little rug. We've got these little chairs here. These are actually from Costco. A lot of people were asking me on Instagram where I got them from. Side note, my, you can find me on Instagram, Sexy Food Therapy, so go over there and follow me now. Shameless plug. And this is where we spend a lot of our times, reading, playing the guitar, listening to music. We've got some firewood over there uh, that we'll use. We've also got a propane uh, fireplace as well. Um, that's really good if there's a fire band happening. And last but not least, we have workout equipment. Truthfully, you're gonna see a bit of a theme here because we pack food is a priority, obviously, healthy food. We have uh, supplements and we have our workout gear. All these things are extremely important to us. These are our values. And this place looks pretty darn fantastic in the evening. Okay, you, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of my crib. I love it. I hope that you have as well. And if you have any requests whatsoever of what you would like to see, please make sure to comment below, but you can definitely bet on seeing a heck of a lot more content coming out all about how you can improve your hormonal health. So in the meantime, do me a favor right now, either you throw a comment below, like this video, share it, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss a thing. Until next time, see ya.